glory to the Father and to the Son, to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, let the redeemed say, Amen. Amen. God has seen fit in his wise providence to invade our right, move from this walk of life, so, Sister Jane Mitchell, and we do not charge God foolishly for what we have done. God is too wise to make mistakes. He is too just to do wrong. The family has provided for us a program to follow. We will follow program is out of line and then we change it on the family and just say Amen. Let me say and I clarify we are not the family of the family as to the new family of the new family of the church and the thought South Carolina, that Old Testament scripture by Brother James Graham, Pastor of the Word of Faith, Kate, South Carolina, New Testament scripture, Brother John Burgess, President, Jew. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, John Burgess. Video and reflection memories. Reflections community. And the Dr. D.L. Grant moderator of the Jerusalem Baptist Association, pastor of the Chapel Hill in New Israel Baptist Church. From the Church of Jerusalem United Baptist Church, Mr. David Bradley, Cedar Road Baptist Church, Mr. Paul Eastman, St. Stephen Baptist Church, Jenny Rose, special video and tributes, Reverend Dr. Clifton Johnson, Lection from Community Choir. Is that all of please? Now, I don't know where I got two minutes from about the road. I dreamed that. Well, or not, I just taking two minutes, but whatever it is, I said two minutes. Two minutes. I know some of y'all know the Christian eulogy. I think we got the past preaching. Two minutes. Y'all got it, I'll set out. Two minutes. If you go over two minutes, when I stand up, you be polite and sit down. Amen. All right. Well, now we're going to return. family now for over 40 years. Done revival for the last 10 years prior to the pandemic. His appreciation, their appreciation for the last 10 years prior to the pandemic. And they are some kind of people. Giving, loving, sharing, sacrificial. And all of you have done your part. 
but you don't know Palm Thin and I are a little closer. We are a little closer because when my daughter was in a bad accident about two years ago, she gave up her home so that we could come and stay there. She gave up her bedroom so that my wife and I could sleep there while our daughter was recovering. All of you have sacrificed. All of you have. Pantera stopped her job to come and help take care of mama. All of you have sacrificed. There ain't too many of us got a good job. Don't leave it. But because of her rearing, honor your mother and your father. All of you have done an excellent job. My heart goes out to you because I'm a part of your family and you are a part of my family. Pastor Mitchell, I love you as a brother. I love you as a servant father. Hang in there. Let us pray. Do we have any praying people in the house today? Did anybody pray before you went to bed last night? I can't hear you. Did anybody pray before you went to bed last night? Did anybody pray early this morning before you started on your way? Is anybody praying right now? Uh, God hears our prayer. And God hears our cry. So if you don't mind, help the preacher pray. Is that all right? All wise and eternal, thou art God. Thou who art from everlasting to everlasting. Thou who art eternal, hope thou who art salvific. Oh Lord, we come to you right now. Acknowledging that you, God, and, and besides thee, there is none other. We do not come for a funeral. But we come for a celebration. We come, God, to tell you thank you. We come, God, to express our hallelujahs up in this place. Now, Lord, we ask thee, O oh God, that you would touch this family in a special way. For right now, God, this, this father, this husband, is without a wife. But you told him to trust in you with all his heart and lean not to his own understanding. You told him in all his ways to acknowledge you and you would direct his path. The children need you right now, Lord. Wrap them up in your loving care and touch them and move them and shake them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you today. We love you today. Sister Jean, we love you. That's why, oh God, she sings her sweet melodies on Sunday morning during the week. She and the children to get together and then hit up on a tune because they know that nobody can do them like Jesus. Now, Lord, we pray for your Holy Spirit to move in this place. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, heavenly dove. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. There's a son getting ready to stand behind this sacred desert, and he needs you right now. He never stood like this before, but he needs you right now. Give him words, oh God. I know he's studied. I know he's meditated. I know he's been in prayer, but can't no preaching go on until the Holy Ghost comes. So Holy Ghost, have your way in this place. Holy Ghost, move in this church. Holy Ghost, touch from hour to hour, from seat to seat, from person to person. And let us know, oh God, that we've been in the church. Because one day, oh God, we'll have to do like Sister Janie did. We'll have to take our heads and hang the lock of our soul and say goodbye, old oh world. Goodbye, husband. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, grandchildren. Goodbye, sixteen. I got a new world on my mind. But until that time comes, rock us and sing us and sing us and rock us. Move us right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody needs to feel your power. Somebody needs to feel your presence. We know you love us. We know you care about us. Because one of these days, I said one of these days, one of these days, Lord, we're going to have to do like Sister Mitchell did. We're going to have to close our eyes for the final time. We'll have eyes that will not see. We'll have a heart that will not beat. We'll have hands that will not move. We'll have feet that will not walk. We'll have a brain that will not think. And we'll have to give it up and be on with you. But when that time comes, Lord, we want to hear what we believe Sister Jenny heard on the other day. Well done. Well done. Well done, well done, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful for a few things. Now come on up higher, and I'll make you move 
a minute in Jesus' name. Won't you say it with me in Jesus' name? Won't you say it with me in Jesus' name? Won't you say it with me in Jesus' name? Let the church say amen. Somebody pull your head back and tell the Lord thank you. Somebody pull your head back and tell the Lord thank you. Somebody pull your head back and tell the Lord thank you. Psalms and hymns, 
spiritual songs. Sing it with grace in your heart to the Lord. And whatever, whatsoever ye do, amen, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Giving thanks to God and the Father by him. To the family I read again. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. In all wisdom, teach you, as she did, and admonish you one another in songs and hymns and spiritual songs. God's word for God's people. Amen.
Moderator, moderator Herman Gibson Jr. To our eulogist of this afternoon, the son, Reverend Dr. Edwin E. Mitchell, Pastor Francis Mitchell, one of our most supporting pastors of our Jerusalem Baptist Association, one of our great driving forces, to this beloved Mitchell family, to the St. Stephen and Cedar Grove Baptist Churches, to all members of the clergy, officers, ladies, and gentlemen, on behalf of all of our pastors and all 43 churches of the Jerusalem Baptist Association, it affords me a pleasure to pay tribute to a beautiful woman of God, Lady Janie Lou Mitchell. No matter the circumstance, no matter the up or the downs of Lady Mitchell, Lady Mitchell always was the same. She was a loyal and dedicated member of the Jerusalem Missionary Baptist and Educational Association. Another driving force with our minister, wives, and widows auxiliary under the leadership of Sister Andrea Johnson, in which she loved and supported along with Pastor Mitchell. She didn't make a lot of fuss, a lot of noise, but she always showed up to all of the sessions with the same quiet spirit. How many of you know an empty wagon carries a lot of fuss? Lady Mitchell was filled with the spirit, carried a genuine continence of meekness. We thank God for sending Lady Janie Lou Mitchell to Jerusalem. Her contributions shall never be forgotten. We will all miss her from coming with Pastor Mitchell to count on the Mitchells and their support. We will miss her coming with St. Stephen Caves. We will miss her sitting with the minister wives and minister widows. But she had another house, you know. I finished now with this house of clay. Please kindly and gently lay it away. Let me rest from the life of pain, toiling in the sunshine, storms, and rain. Trying to help the sick and the poor, and never turning no need from my door. I have a started to do my master's work. Never a duty did I shirk. Many times I was misunderstood when I had done the best I could. I'm tired now, so let me rest. Don't cry. Don't you know God knows best? Don't weep for me. I am not dead. I have another house, you know, where only God's redeemed go. I do not need this old house of clay so tenderly carefully lay it away. Mitchell, Brother Mitchell, John Cedar Road back in the 
They came to Cedar Grove, and they was beautiful people. The Lamentia was preaching, so the Lamentia was singing. And I would just like to say to this family, the while that they y'all, the while they were there, we enjoyed them. Mr. Mitchell didn't make herself no stranger at the church. She sang, she sang, but no one else didn't sing. She sang, she did just whatever she wanted to do. I, now I know Mr. Mitchell was back in school. I know the family. So I would just like to say to this family, Mr. Mitchell, keep on keeping on. God loves you and he'll take care of you. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Blessed Holy Ghost, the Lord is able. I know that we have a occasion in this afternoon and make us our heart able. But I know that the Lord is able, Reverend Mitch, and family, and everybody that is in the building, this afternoon. Can y'all hear yeah, this pretty good? I'm here to say a few words for all. Uh, and on behalf of all, uh, Sister Mitchell and all the family. Reverend and Sister Mitchell and myself, we know one another over 40 years. And from the time that I knew her, she was out singing and trying to do the work of the Lord and trying to help everybody and she's going to be that good. She loved the same, but the quiet of the same is so beautiful. This afternoon, Sister Mitch had a hand in there. She worked, she would work with young people because she wanted them to really live, uh, represent the Lord in a very fashionable way. And I remember when she come down and some of them would open the church room to rehearse. When they had a program, she would make sure that everything I was going to keep. And I would say, well, sister, we're going to get ready to leave this way block the church. But I know she was going to be down there until she get things right. That was going to first she was. And I liked it that her, by her. And if she had anything to say to you and she could help you, she would do that. She was a gentle-minded person. And I'll tell you, I miss her. And I know that the family does too. Because she touched so many lives. And I'm looking at the people that come out to celebrate a home room. But Sister Mitchell knew that she was working for a home that wasn't made by hand. But she worked and she said, I'm going to do what the Lord said do. And that's what she did. And I only have two minutes. But uh, I don't think a hundred books um, could hold the thing when she did indeed and in action. But I would just like to say to the family, just keep on keeping on. She's not going to live in your memories. And when you start thinking about all the good that she has done, then you'll be able to know that the Lord is able. So again, I would just like to say to uh, the church today, let us other churches keep our walk and our talk with the Lord. Because we know a lot going on with the pandemic and everything, but then God is able, he's more than the pandemic. Yeah. And I tell you, the crowd, I'm just there, I see every day, just bless my heart, because I know that you love her just like I do. So one day, I'm just there, I hope that we all can work, that we will see her again one day. So again, I would just like to say good evening to everybody.
I'm telling you, my, my aunt made sure that everything was in the excellent condition for her brothers. And then I start thinking about it myself, is that I've never seen a group of kids get together like my uncle and aunt did. I mean, they was on one accord with each other on every decision that needed to be made for our family, right up to the day. And not only that, they have basically brought it on down to us because we still have that same love and, the, and the compassion for what is need to be done as far as the McCullers is concerned. So in my fondest memory, because I don't want to get up here and, and not just say as a niece, my aunt loved to shop. But I was one that didn't want to go to town with them because we bought all day long. So, <laughs> and those who knew my aunt knew she loved to go shopping and knew that she would be in town all day long. So if we're going to truly, truly miss her, I know that her two, two remaining brothers is going to miss her. And I think that God bless you and thank you all on the behalf of the family. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming out and celebrating my Aunt Blue. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand for you. Oh, we can do better than that. Come on. Come on, Zion, we can do better than that. Take two minutes, amen. First of all, I just want to thank God for my aunt life living. And for that, I tell God thank you. Because she showed us how to live a holy life. Which a lot of people can't do these days. We thank God for her life living and what she has brought to the Mitchell side of the family. She told us to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of God, knowing that our labor will not be in vain. And she had a way of saying something to make it sound so good. Yeah. And for that, I want to tell this family, hold your hand up high, Keep on looking towards the hills because, because payday is coming after a while. I want to sing a word to you. It is time to make that international record. Oh, y'all ain't going to get with me. Hallelujah. God is in his time, in his time, in his time. Amen. We, she left you a legacy. And for that, we got to give God a praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God for her life. We thank God for her living. For that, I thank you, Jesus. Is there any praises in the house? I'm preaching. I'm done. Hallelujah. It don't take me much to get started. Hallelujah. Thank God for this great choir. Y'all singing out of y'all soul. Singing out of your death. Let's get with this choir. Let's have some church. Let's celebrate her life. Let's not hold back no breaks. Let's tell God we thank you for her life. Sing choir.
the Mitchell family, we would like to thank everyone for your prayers, words of comfort, gifts, and compassion shown to our family during this time. We greatly appreciate it and would like to thank the following people. Waitis McCullough and family, Emma Jean Walker and family, the Caesar family, Irvin and Justin McClary, Justin O. Cooper, Franklin McCullough and family, Ernest and Clara, Omita Shea and family, Linda Hill and family, Pastor Charles Y. Davis and congregation, Oak Ridge Missionary Baptist Church, Mr. John Cohen, the Nine, Renelle Prelo, Natalie Fulton, Andrea Matheby, Tamara Cobb, Gilwana Brockleton, Tawanda Evans, Ty McMiller, Tiana Maxwell, Shamika Washington, Pearl Prelo, Williamsburg Jerusalem Association, Henry, Alma, and the Frazier family, Sister Capers, Apostle Montgomery, Paulina, Miranda, and family, the class of 1993, KSH, Dimension of Light, Way of Cross, and District Elder, Elijah Page, Sammy and Pearl K. Presley, E. Shante Days, McBride and family, Wardell and Dorothy Buford, Elder Priscilla, Fulmore Wright and family, Reverend John Burgess and family, Bobby and Rosalind William and family, Tanya and James, Yvonne and Lisa McCullough and family, Jesse and Veronica Cooper, Mark and Joanne Conyers Lockhart, Aline Hugh Lockhart and family, Brother and Evangelist Ben Washington, Oliver, Natalie, Taylor, and Oliver Pugh, St. Stephen Baptist Church, St. Stephen Pastor Aid Committee, Reverend Robert Ray, Deacon Samuel Campbell, Deacon Ben Washington, Deacon Eddie Washington, Deacon Boykin Parson, Deacon James Gibbs, Deacon Elliot Duncan, Deacon Jimmy and Sister Rose, St. Stephen Missionary Department, Felicia, Wanda, and Betty Frazier, William, Con Wilma, Connie Frazier, Penny Hule, Gloria Gamble, Ernestine McCullough, Sylvia Neesman, Leon and Ernest McCullough, Zena Henry, Dorothy and Gary Graham, Chaplain Cindy Thorpe and McLeod Health, Salters Post Office, Mandy Wallace, Geraldine McBride, Vicki Philip S, Alberta Godwin and family, and the late Ernest Brown, J.W. and Ann Wallace, and Sadie Henry, Thomas and Shamika Washington and family, Ola May, Celia, Sonia, Tammy McFadden, Shirley L. Salters Keels, Aunt Glenny and Crystal McKnight, Floyd and Mel Robinson. Theodore D. Harvin III and family, Deacon Leon Willis, the Blakely Williamsburg D.P. Cooper Alumni Committee and Friends, Jonathan Miller, Paul Neesmith, Daniel Morris, Aline Hill Lockhart, Leslie Fluid Britt, John, Angie, Brendel, Kim, Travis, and the Brown Swinton family, Joe Lewis and Barbara Miller and family, Talia Wilson, Matthews and family, Sister Faustina F. Schubert, Jamie L. Morant and family, the Jerusalem Association, Reverend D.L. Grant, Paul and Leandis McKnight, Harrison McKnight and family, Mr. and Mrs. Charles McCullough and family, Smiley and Linda McClary and family, McCullough, McClary and Boyd family, Pam Salters and family, Sonia Shorter, Danella, Danetta and Paulette Burroughs, Grace Deliverance Temple Church, Dr. Rosetta Fulmore, Deacon Cleo Fulmore, and Sister Eloise Wilson. Again, we thank you all so much, and we wish God's continual blessing upon you and your family. Love the family of Janie Lou Mitchell. Let's give God a praise in this house. Hallelujah. A praise to our God, not to me. moment, how many of you personally were impacted by her ministry in some way? Raise your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to try to sing. And 
don't know if we're going to get it, but y'all will be ready, okay? <laughs> okay, all right. Jackson Sisters, where are you? Are the Jackson Sisters still here? Okay, I know that they had to go back. I was going to invite them to be a part. We're going to sing her favorite song. She would request it almost every time we got up. <laughs> and that is Total Praise.
one good reason to let the praises die. We are not of those who mourn as if there's no hope. Who are we? We are not those who mourn as if there's no hope. Somebody asked me how can I trace on through this? Because I know. Look at somebody and say, I know. You have to have an assurance. If you don't have an assurance, leave the face. Exit now. Seriously. Because you ain't going to stay here. One day we all got to make that same journey. Amen? If you're in the faith, you have to know this. That is the earthly tabernacle. Shallow. Fail me. I got another home. I got a building. Look at somebody and say, I have a building. Keep your mask on. Don't spit in their face. You don't have none of that. No fights. You know, Jane wasn't about that. She wasn't about that. Amen. My soul rejoiced today. Because some people you got the guess to make me wonder what has become of them in this particular moment, I don't have to guess. I know. I know. Come on, her family should be a witness of nobody else here. We know. We know this. We know what is. She's sleeping. The Bible says they rest. They rest. Amen. We bless God. Rest on her. Rest on her. Well, there's her. Well, it's a, not like this moment doesn't hurt some. You know, don't get it twisted. But as crazy as I was, younger, I owe it to her. That's why I'm preaching. In case some of y'all are asking, I owe her. Look, amen? Is it all right? If I pay your debt this evening? Huh? I'm paying your debt. I owe her. Amen? I'm going to be real short, but we've not been here long enough. And um, we don't have to stay here all day. I don't have to preach a whole long sermon because her life has spoken well for her. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we can get up here and overdo it and, 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 and you know, start embellishing. Start trying to make things what they weren't. I don't have to try to make anything what it wasn't. Amen. She was all that bag of chips and amen, some dip and everything else. She was, amen. I ain't saying that because that's my mama. I'm saying that because she was. You heard all the testimony. These people what, didn't get up here just to say something. Amen. God has been good. And he showed his goodness through her life. Giving honor to all the clergy who are up here. Give them a hand. And then I won't start calling, but definitely to the esteemed, our, our esteemed uh, host for the night. That's what I'm going to call you. you know, he helped us through this moment. He's been a long time pastor, friend of the family, um, a guide, counselor in many instances. I'm sure a lot. I may not even know. But we thank him, amen, in the person of the Dr. Herman Gibson. Amen. Let's give him a hand. Reverend Norman Campbell, amen. Let's give him a hand. Pastor Aaron, Dr. D.L. Am I? Can I have the right? Amen. I want to have the right Dr. Grant. Okay, I'm going to stop calling. Right now, my mind is 100 places. Amen. Uh, my cousin Eric, my father in law who's back here, Apostle, amen. Apostle Brown. To all the clergy in the building. Last but not least, to my father. Let us stand. Let's stand. Come on, y'all gonna give him a hand. If y'all don't do nothing else today, if y'all decide to leave because you thought I was too forceful about it, that's fine. Bye. It's his day, amen? As well as hers. Why do you say that? Because I watched this man. Amen? A lot of men run around trying to tell their sons how to be a man. I watch them be a man. Amen? I continue to watch them be a man. 
strong man. Amen? A God-fearing man. A man who did nothing all his life but try to lead his family in the right direction. As Harvey Watkins said, he drug us to church. Amen? Continuously. We, we praise God for that. We're not griping about it. It's a great thing. And he stood by, most of all, he stood by my mama. Now I know some of y'all in here with daddy issues and stuff like that today. Well, today you're just going to have to bear with it. Because I'm going to speak well of my father because there's much to speak well of. Amen? Great man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And I don't preach because he preaches. I preach because God called me. Amen? Amen? In fact, I didn't want to preach. I didn't care for this. Amen? But after the prophet gets to putting her mouth on you continuously, <laughs> she always got in the way of my plans, amen? Continuously put her mouth on me. In a good way, amen? God led me, amen? God directed my life. That was my first prophet. Some of y'all running around in the streets trying to run from conference to conference to look for a prophet. I thank God I had a prophet in the home. Amen? Not a word she said fell to the ground. Amen. I thank God for all my family. Give my family a hand. Thank God for the um, choir. Amen. Give the choir. Dr. Benford. Amen. Great Benford. Thank God for the soloists that have sung. The musicians. Like I said, I won't be long. Thank God for I'm going to say this and some, some of y'all, please. Just bear with me. I thank God for my in-laws. I ain't got nothing but sisters, so I don't have nothing but reasons to fight. But I've never had a reason to even fight. Because I can't beat Mike. Mike. I always thought he was my second daddy. Amen. But I love you, man. Good brother-in-laws. Amen. Good solid men. Amen. Amen. Y'all gonna... Hey man, I don't do my family like that today. I'll give them their due today. Good solid man. Lee, we thank God for you. We thank God. And I'm gonna take this is our day. Bear with me if you got something to do by. Go ahead on. Amen. I thank God for her brothers. Mama Clarence, Mama Waiters. Amen. Good, solid men. Other good role models I had as men. Amen. Even though they stayed after me. And Uncle Clarence still thinks he comes home and give me orders. And I'm almost, well, I'm old now. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. You know? <laughs> Amen. But we were raised to follow our elders. I don't know what y'all do these days. I got a whole new thing happening. He tell me to climb a tree. The older I am, I'm going to try I might be asking after, but I'm not trying. I mean, can I have some water or something? If I can, if I can find some water. Be real quick. So thank God for all you. Thank God for the funeral home. I'm saying this now because we may not have a chance to say it later. And um, I've been speaking for the family. Thank God for the kids. All my my kids that are here. All my nephews and nephews. All all y'all love y'all. All the nieces and nephews of my mom and dad. All the, the other sisters and, and family members of my dad, we thank God for y'all. Um, I'm going to be real quick, okay? I'm going to go to 2 Corinthians, 3rd chapter. I know I'm not doing it in the order of hermeneutics or whatever you call it. Just allow me for a minute, amen. Running time is a way. And I'm, I'm just reading what the scripture says. Uh, 2 Corinthians, the third chapter. Are we beginning to commend ourselves again? Or do we need, like some people, letters of recommendation to you or from you? You yourselves are our letter, written on our hearts, known and read by everyone. You show that you are a letter from Christ. The result of our ministry, written not with ink, 
brought with the spirit of the living God. Not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human heart. And I like another, uh, the message Bible where it says, and we publish it. Look at somebody and say, and we publish it. Uh, if I could speak from a little, uh, a little while today from a subject, uh, the gospel according to Jamie. The gospel according to Jamie. I know some of you look confused when I say that. Oh, no. Well, if you're a servant of God, you should be writing your own gospel according to the gospel. If you look at all of the particular parts, look at Peter, John, Luke, and all those particular parts, they coincide because they bear witness to the gospel upon themselves. Line by line, precept by precept, they bear witness. They prove the gospel. Well, I'll be real quick. That's all I got to say. She proved the gospel with her life. And how do you know that? Because you're looking at so many witnesses lined across here today. You ought to be a living epistle. Eventually, you have to embody the works of God. You, not just the title. I don't care if people call people say, what do they call you? I'm like, I'm E. I mean, you can call me E. It doesn't matter about a title. If I don't do the work, title don't mean nothing. You're looking at a woman, she didn't, she, the only title she mostly wore is first lady. But I saw her do the work of an evangelist. Saw her do the work of the ministry in many different forms many different offices in the work of in the, in the way of a prophet and all I saw her bear out the gospel I saw her push forth fruit and I saw it many times over and I'm just here to say that she's done well she's done well if you don't believe it just look around in this room to ask somebody she did well. But the question is, what are you going to do with what she left in you? What are you going to do? Look at somebody asking, what are you going to do? I want the question to marinate. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I, I tried to get the bucket out of the way first. Because I may not scream and holler this evening. Uh, it's in me, but I'm, I'm very serious right now. First off, I want to talk to my family. What are you going to do? The word says that a wise man or woman leaves an inheritance for her children's children. She left an inheritance. What are you going to do with it? Will you do like the prodigal son? Run out here and squander what you have. The riches, because believe me, you're rich. You have a rich heritage. We got a rich heritage going back over time. Generations and generations on both sides. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do? My mama always used to say, the gospel according to Jamie, I read, she said, she said, don't go out here and make me look stupid. <laughs> don't go make me look crazy. Of course, you know, I was excellent at that. I got my PhD at making folk look crazy. I did. See, my dad rubbing his ear. Thank you, Dad. Daddy always had my back. <laughs> I had a PhD at that. What are you going to do? Now is the time for you to decide which road you're going to take. What are you going to do? I heard the gospel according to Jamie say that every tub got to stand on its own body. He said that to me plenty of times. Basically, like, what are, you, what are you talking about? 
Meaning that one day, mama and daddy ain't going to be able to hold you up and bear you up. You're going to have to decide that you're going to live a decent life and do well for yourself. Some of y'all waiting for folk to croak over to see what they got in their uh, life insurance policy and whatever. What they leaving for you. What are you going to do with what was left with you? Word says you can bring a man a fish and he eat for a day. Teach him to fish and he eat for a lifetime. You can talk to fish. Now what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You be mad at me afterwards, I don't care. I get in a little hooping in a minute. But it's time for us to make her proud with our lives. That's why I'm preaching today. I ain't preaching for none of y'all. I'm preaching for my mama. Because I want to show her that according to the gospel, I heard her say that the prayers of the righteous avail much. If you have someone righteous praying for you in your corner, they're going to produce fruit. Those prayers are going to produce fruit. I am that fruit of a righteous prayer. I'm that fruit. Guess what? You are too. But the question is, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to eat of the fruit and let it nourish you? Give you strength and sustenance and, 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 and be good to you and good for you? Or are you going to just let it sit to the side till it rocks to the core? Do nothing with it. Some of you may say, I don't understand your message. You'll understand it soon enough. What are you going to do? It's time for us, Jamie Mitchell heirs, Francis Mitchell heirs, to do what we need to do. And I say that saying this. People look at me and, and, and ask what I mean. Y'all, I have never, I've got a family that's so I'm trying to think who, who's in prison or anything like that. I don't think nobody, right? Huh? No, I mean direct lineage from mom and dad. Okay. Nobody's in prison. It ain't, see, y'all looking crazy, but ain't nobody, it ain't like nobody in trouble or nothing. But when God has called you to greater and you're satisfied with the, the, the sedentary, you're satisfied with the normal, that ain't good. That ain't good. I remember years back, I lost my license for a long time. And my uncle found out. <laughs> and they got at me. They said, well, what, you, what, what are you doing without your license? And they think that did not affect me any. any. That affected me a great deal. Because at the end of the day, I realized that it, it sounds crazy to y'all, but one day you're going to come to this point. I realized that what had been instilled in me, I was squandering. I was squandering it. I'm speaking to y'all today to let you know that you have to eventually make a choice and a decision on where you are and what you're going to do with your life. Are you going to go after the greatness that's in you? Or are you just going to sit back and chill and live a normal life? There ain't nothing normal about a Mitchell. There ain't nothing normal about a McCullough. There's nothing normal about us. And I'm not saying that, that we're better than anybody else, but our fruit speaks for itself. The Bible says, do we, in other words, do we boast on ourselves? No! But the ink we were written of is from the Holy Ghost. It's from the Spirit. I'm not trying to tell you. We were written from a whole, we, 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 Jay-Z said I'm cut from a different cloth. <laughs> yeah, I still know, know a little bit of Jay. <laughs> I'm in the industry still. He said we cut from a different cloth. We are. We are. 
And I just, I love my family enough not to leave this place to have an opportunity to speak to you about what are you gonna do with what was left of you and the legacy that you left. What are we gonna do? I appreciate the praise. I appreciate all of that. But at the end of the day, let us do what we've been called to do. Let us press toward the mark that is of the prize of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Let us go towards what we are ordained for. Because let me tell you something. Jamie Mitchell didn't leave nothing to chance. She gave God all she had. I watched her give God all she had. I wanted to play so bad today because the reason I was running around here, and that's weird, I, I didn't mean to do it, but I ended up running around here and making sure everything's straight. But that's how she was. She watched every detail. And if she was anywhere in the, in the midst of it, it was, it, and had something in her hand in it, she made sure it was done and done well. Amen? That's why. I can't help it. It's what I'm made of. It's our responsibility. What are you going to do? Because let me tell you something. I love my mama. She did well. She was one of the greatest people that ever lived to me. And that's saying a lot. Because I know some people y'all consider great. I know the person. And I thank God for that. But to me, I can always defer back to my household and to my mom and how she was. Let me tell you something. No letter of recommendation needed. No letter of commendation needed. No PhD behind her name. None of those things. That she had a PhD in Godology. She had a double master's in righteousness. <laughs> she, was fully, she was fully educated in the things of God. And she lived it and she bore fruit. Fruit! Fruit! Not just going to church. She bore fruit. I am proud. I am some, somebody came to me yesterday with my cousin, Dorita, and uh, she had to ask cousin how they approached me. She said, what was that all about? Why are they bowing to you and stuff like that? I said, I don't know this foolishness. I said, I'm not worried about that. She said, I don't know. I just got to see you. Stuck a star or something. And I, I said, no, I am Francis and Jamie Mitchell's son. That makes me special right there enough. I'm Jamie Mitchell's boy. I'm the only boy. I was so special, they couldn't have a one. But two would have been overkill for some of y'all. They had to only make one. Amen? What are you gonna do? Amen? We don't need to let accommodation because we see the fruit. Her family can look at each other right now and tell you all the fruit. We are the fruit. Huh? We are the fruit. We are Jamie Mitchell's work. She worked diligently on the, on the battlefield of God. And she didn't just show that in church. She showed it in the home. She showed it out on the street. Everywhere she went. She was the living gospel. Some of y'all just want to be a church gospel. Some of y'all ain't good for nothing but the temple. She was the street gospel. She showed God. She could flush you out and you still felt Jesus. Y'all think I'm, am I joking? Where, her, where the youth from her church, am I joking? She could flush you out and you still felt Jesus. Where that type of religion at? Where that type of religion? We don't, they don't make them like that no more. Now you get fussed out, you just see, feel, maybe, 
and spiteful and rattlesnake. You don't feel Jesus. But even when she was asking you in that manner, it was because of Jesus. It wasn't because she was mean or being nothing. She was getting you together so you could walk with Jesus the right way. And therefore, you are her fruit. I know those who are in, who went on to college and they've gotten degrees and they've got six-figure jobs and everything, all because of the seed she planted, or all because of her watering. Like Paul said, Paul said, "I plant in Apollo's water, but God give the increase." She would do her part and let God do theirs. That was part of the gospel according to James. Janie has preached her sermon. What about you? I'm done. See, some of y'all are looking for hooping. I'm happy because my mama ain't hurt no more. I'm still the same fella wanted to put one in the principal. Yeah, I'm still the same fella. Don't mess with my mama. That's how I always was. My daddy said, boy, you love your mama, don't you? Yeah, I sure do. I love her enough not to squander what she has instilled in me. I love her enough to know that the Jesus, I, I follow Jesus as she followed Jesus. Because she followed him right. She followed him right. What are you going to do? I implore you, my, my, my family, let's do what we need to do. Amen? I know this may seem off-putting to some of y'all because I don't know what you expect. But if, it, think if there's anybody in the house that needs a relationship with God, See, that's what I'm about. I'm not about, I love to shop now. I love to do all of that. Cut, baby, rug. I love to go to town. I love all that, all, of, all that carrying on as they say. I love it. But it don't mean nothing. You can shout your way right in the hell. <laughs> I mean, shout hard, shout long, turn a flip and everything. And end up not, not making it in. But Lord, didn't we preach and prophesy in your name? You cast out devil. Who are you? We just talked about that. Let Paul say if they preach another Jesus, you love him. This Jesus. The Jesus that Jamie Mitchell followed. He's available. If you want to see her again, there's only one way. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. There are no other, there's not an end around. This is not football. There are no shortcuts. This ain't the backbones in the country. There's only one way to see grandma again, to see mommy again, to see uh, uh, our friend, our uh, uh, first lady, uh, who we love. There's only one way. I'd be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity to offer you that one way. This is a perfect time. And if you don't feel like coming, I understand. But I don't preach for y'all to get, get my rocks off for y'all to get y'all rocks off. I preach for Jesus. I don't preach for people. I don't care how you feel about this message afterwards. We hooped and we shot and we did all the good stuff at the front. This is a whole different time. I thank God for what she left. I thank God for her. She was one of the greatest people I believe in my book that has ever lived.
and all the books that I've read and all the people I've met. I've met. I know her life. I know her words. If you want to see her again, there's only one way. There's only one way. You got to be born again. I love you, Mom. I love you. You know that. I don't want to, you know. Some people feel the need to cry and throw a snot or whatever. I praise God. Because what you work for, you now have. And I, all I ever wanted was my mama to have what she wanted. And what she worked for, she now has. Thank you, Jesus. One last time, let us stand on our feet. I was too long already for myself. Um, let us give God some praise. Okay, let, let us give Jamie Mitchell some praise. If y'all knew my mama, y'all knew she was all about having a good time. She was all about church. She was all about serving the Lord. That's all I wanted to do here. I wanted us to serve the Lord. Look at somebody and say, serve the Lord. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Come on, y'all, come in the same. Come on. What song is that? Come right here. Thank you, my brother.
we don't have the funeral home for like a month to hold on. for each one of us. 
the Mitchell family would like to say thank you to the choir, the musicians, for your songs of praise, and to everyone that came out today and celebrated with the Mitchell family, they would like to say thank you. Now at this time, we do have a token of love for the family of First Lady Janie Mitchell. And I'm not there to see if the sun should rise and find your eyes are filled with tears for you. I wish so much you wouldn't cry the way you do today while thinking of the many things we didn't get to say. With sincere sympathy of staff and management of Henry and Funeral Home, First Lady Jamie L. Mitchell, her son rise October 3rd, 1943, her sunset July 30th, 2021, and God bless this Mitchell family. Now, family members and friends, let us prepare our hearts and minds for the final viewing of First Lady Jane Mitchell, which will be held in the rear of this sanctuary, after which the family invites each of you to journey with them to the Jerusalem United Methodist Church Cemetery. Just prior to getting to Jerusalem, we will have a special chariot to take First Lady Jane Mitchell to her final resting place. So please join us in the entourage down to the Jerusalem United Methodist Church Cemetery. Reverends, if you'll please lead us out, choir, if you will favor us with a selection. Those of you that are not immediate family members, if you would please rise at this time.
Christian News TY would like the family to know we love you and God bless you. Please share this video.